Hello traders and welcome to this market overview video from FoxX for the week ahead commencing on Monday the 18th of June. Now before we get started we would like to let you know that we have a growing library of educational content which will explain all of the FoxX trading tools in great detail. We also have some videos covering trade management and of course we have our online trading floor where you can get involved and have your say and where you can also get in direct contact with the people behind FoxX. That being said now let's move over to the charts and first of all look at the weekly charts as several of them are approaching some very interesting areas. First of all let's take a look at the euro here which as you can see has reached the vicinity of the end of the wealth crossover wave and has been stuck here for a couple of weeks already. The euro is typically fairly strong in June so we could potentially see some movement to the upside in the upcoming week. Similar story here on cable price has reached the vicinity of the end of the wave but unlike the euro price has not yet pierced the end of the wave and has been sat here at this level for several weeks already. Again plenty of room to the upside on cable once the buyers come in and price begins to turn a little bit more convincingly. Pound Yen is a very interesting pair and one well worth keeping an eye on even if you don't trade it. As you can see price did come down and test this level at the end of the wave back in May and now appears to have started moving to the upside. Pound Yen here is not the cleanest example so perhaps one to simply observe and learn from in the days and weeks ahead. The pound Aussie here is a very clean example of the wealth crossover indicator in action here on the weekly charts and definitely one to keep on the watch list in the upcoming days. As you have probably noticed we have a confluence of factors here on the pound Aussie. Price has turned on a dime right at the end of the wealth crossover wave and has also rebounded very nicely off the missile tracker line shown here. Also here on the pound Aussie when we zoom out we can see that we're sitting on a very nice level of support also. This is a great looking chart and a great opportunity to look for a potential long position in the upcoming days. The only downfall with this chart is that the distance between the blue and the purple line is fairly small and therefore suggests that the move to the upside may not last that long. Nevertheless still a good opportunity to get long and plenty of profit potential still on the table. Finally we would like to highlight the gold weekly chart which as you can see is fast approaching the end of the wealth crossover wave so do keep an eye out for the appearance of buyers in the week ahead here on gold. Moving on to the daily charts now and let's start with the pound yen. As we already mentioned this pair is looking bullish on the weekly charts and there is certainly some more room to the upside here on the daily according to the wealth crossover wave. So one to keep an eye on in the upcoming week for sure. The Aussie is an interesting one shown here. Aggressive move to the downside last week and it certainly appears that there is more room to the short side. However, notice that the wealth crossover lines are almost crossing and if they do indeed cross the new wave that is created will end in this approximate area shown here at a very similar level to the previous low shown here back in May. So this would potentially indicate that we're going to see some sort of a double bottom pattern here and then a continued push to the upside thereafter. The Kiwi and the Swissy are both very clean examples of the wealth crossover in action in recent days and again both of these symbols have bounced nicely off of the missile tracker line as shown here. The Looney is continuing to push to the upside and we may get a potential reversal move in the upcoming week if price reaches the vicinity of the end of the wealth crossover wave shown here. So do keep this pair on the list as a potential short opportunity towards the end of the upcoming week. 
Finally, the oil chart is still looking quite bullish despite the large red candle that we got last Friday. This is not the cleanest example since price didn't interact with the end of the wealth crossover wave. But nevertheless, we did see quite a lot of buying power in this market last week and we certainly expect to see more in the days and also potentially in the weeks ahead. So do keep an eye on oil and notice again that the distance between the blue and the purple lines would suggest that when indeed it does continue moving to the upside there will be plenty of room for it to move. And that's it for this week's overview traders. We look forward to hearing from you via our online trading floor and we wish you all a great week's trading. This has been a market overview from FoxX.